Hello and welcome to this uh, comprehension exercise for Key Stage 3. Let's have a read of this particular text together. So plants are living things. Uh, all living things carry out the following life processes. So first of all, living things, they move. They have offspring, in other words, children. Uh, point number three, they take in food, so they eat food. And also point number four, they all grow. So animals and plants are, are called living organisms. To be alive, they must carry out the four life processes. In other words, they need to move, have offspring, take in food, and also grow at the same time. So animals are obviously alive because you can see them move, such as this bird. You can see them with their young, such as elephants here. You can see them eat, such as this particular hen. And also you can see them grow, such as this fish example at the bottom. Uh, plants are not so obvious. So when a flower dies, what's left grows into a fruit with seeds and the seeds grow into new plants. Chemicals inside the leaves use sunlight to change carbon dioxide gas and water into food. The stem, this particular stem here, holds the plant up and upright and moves it slowly towards the sun as it grows. And the roots at the bottom Roots anchor the plant to the ground. Root hairs soak up water and minerals from the soil. So here we've got an example on the top right hand side of some fungi. Fungi can grow, fungi can reproduce, and fungi are living things. So they actually cover those particular life processes. So is it, this is a particular example. It says tick the boxes of the living things. So you can check here, but what, what exactly do we have here as living things? So water, is not particularly a living thing because it doesn't have those four processes. A dog, yes, it does, because a dog can move, can have offspring, it can take in food, and it can also grow. A bonfire, <laughs> it's not a living thing. A daisy plant, is that a living thing? Yes, it is. A starling bird, yes, it is. A sun, no, it can't, okay? So all living things are made up of microscopic cells. Dead things, for example, fur coats are still made from cells. And particularly a dog in this case is, has animal cells and the animal cells uh, gives you an example there. You can see here what a cell could possibly look like. A plant also has cells and you can see the cell of this particular tree here at the bottom. Um, a car has particles. So things have never been alive are not made from cells. So they are made from microscopic particles instead. So the material that we have that we use from cars or microscopic particles are not from cells, okay? So have a read of this again one more time, this exercise, and you've got some uh, questions to answer. They're off, there are in total 18 questions to do in this particular exercise. Good luck with this. And we'll go through this topic one by one and follow up all the questions with you very soon. Thank you.